Hey, what's up guys? Johnny here back with a brand new COD Mobile video. Today, we are going to check out the store because we got a new bundle. And that one uh, is pretty crazy for a few reasons. But hey, it's called Day of the Dead bundle. And it says Halloween Limited. 23 days remaining in the store though. So 24 days total. It just popped up like uh, minutes ago. But what's the deal? I, first of all, again, players have been requesting bundles. Players want more bundles and better bundles with more value because you guys remember from the past seasons the bundles were never super cool the value was not great some okay bundles but never never very good now it's the second great bundle we had this season all right and that one i know some guys will will be very mad right now but it's the outrider the los muertos i think it changed name it had a different name uh last year when it came out so what's the deal with that soldier skin? Uh, it's super rare because it was on the very first lucky draw last year in Halloween. So about, about a year ago, right? And it was super expensive and people didn't know that much about draws back then, about the odds. It was confusing. And a lot of guys passed and it never came back. And so like OG players that paid for that one, they had one of the rarest skin in the game. And why they use it? I don't know if you guys think it's super great. I don't know if you guys think it's a, a good looking skin, but just because it's so rare, like people who have it, they use it, right? But now it's gonna be more common because of the bundle. Are they gonna still, are our are, are players still gonna use it? Let me know in the comments if you think this skin is such a cool skin or is it cool because it's very, very rare. Um, but yeah, the rest I have, like a lot of stuff I have. I had the M4 from the Lucky Draw. I did spin a couple of spins, back then i didn't go all the way so i had the m4 i had the backpack uh i know i have the atv also the knife i'm not sure but hey guys where's the msmc pretty sure there was an msmc also in the draw msmc is not here so i guess the msmc might be one of the rare weapon skins out there now but hey so how it works guys uh if you guys are on garena and you still don't have bundles and i still get questions how do bundles work it's different from a crate a crate you have to gamble and open a few, and you're gonna get something at random. But a bundle, you buy once, and you get everything that's inside. So we're gonna do it, because I wanna show you guys, but also I was gonna buy it. So I pay 1,400 cut points, and I get the soldier, but also I get everything else in the bundle. It's not a gamble, okay? So it's more expensive than one crate. You pay for, like 1400 is like 10 crates maybe uh, a bit more but you get everything you're guaranteed to get the soldier and you see i had a few uh, I, I did have the knife uh 220 credits for the duplicates but yeah that's it like it's it's a bundle so you buy what you like and you get everything so that one uh if you guys like the hvk that's a decent bundle for 1900 cut points though i don't know like a hvk skin a m16 skin I don't know about that one. Uh, some of these are not great. The captain is back though. That one is very cheap. 600 for for a soldier skin and a few weapons. That one's cheap. Uh, the hot shot, again, there's a Merc 5. 1900, I don't know. So yeah, so some bundles are okay. Some are not great. Uh, I think one of the bundles just this. Oh yeah, that one, Citrine. Again, like it's 1100 for, for a couple weapons. So most of the stuff I wouldn't buy still, but some of them is like, okay, I guess. Like this soldier skin is pretty cool, but 1900. So it really depends what you want to do with your cut points and also personal preference, right? So some guys don't care for the Halloween bundle and they would really go for that one instead. Like to each their own, right? But at least I'm going to say at least now we have a little bit more options in the bundles compared to what we had in the previous seasons where most of the time it was all trash. A bunch of green items, uh, or the price was not right. But I think I think they're doing a better job now this season. I think we're starting to see some better value um, in the bundles. So yeah, that's gonna be a short video, guys. I, I really don't think I'm gonna go for some gameplay. You guys saw probably that soldier. It's been out there for a year now. A lot of YouTubers use it. But that's the one, Outrider de los Muertos uh just lost a, a bit of rarity so yeah i know i understand the frustration for sure um 
it, it, you can compare that to when they re-released the DLQ Red Action. I don't know if you guys remember that one. Uh, the DLQ Red Action was also a super OG weapon from the Season 1 crates. The odds were very low, something like 0.6 or 0.8%. Some players had to open hundreds and hundreds of crates to get that DLQ. And they just re-released it in a bundle. So I guess it's going to be the way now. They're going to re-release older stuff. Trying to make more money. Like it's a, it's a free game once again. I know you guys are sick and tired of hearing this. But yeah, the game exists to make money once again. Uh, what they said though is they should not re-release Battle Pass stuff. I don't know if they will um, keep going in that direction. But so far... They never re-released a Battle Pass item. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure. Like the G-Series stuff, the Mason from the Season 2. Um, I, I think they did not re-release Season Pass stuff. So once again, that's the new skin from the bundle. Guys, let me know in the comments how you feel about that one. And that's going to be it for today's video. Once again, I'm not going to go for some gameplay. I'm going to go grind some uh, some gold skins today. And I'll post my progression later. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Smash the like if you did. And don't forget to subscribe for daily comable videos. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.